Hey, how's it going guys? And welcome back to Project Cars. Boo, you suck! Yes, yes, I know this isn't the greatest game in the world, but there's been a brand new update, which brings in a Scottish track, as you can see here. Bannock bruh, as I like to call it, Bannock bruh. Um, it, it's an okay track, I've had a little bit of a test drive of it with another car, but today we're going to try and not die, because as you can see right here, Mad Mike's 1000 horsepower Rad Bull MX-5 has now been added into the game. I've not driven this yet, but I've got a funny feeling this is going to be the scariest experience of my life. So just to let you know guys, before I start, I am using the controller, I'm not using the wheel with this, so it's going to be extra scary. So here's the mad little mofo right here, so look at it, it looks insane. Now it's kind of weird how I done that Banshee build on GTA the other night, with that sort of, like, thing that pops out the hood and that. This thing's got it as well. Oh my god. It's just a crazy, crazy looking car, but it's nothing compared to the sound. And if the game volume is a little bit quieter than normal, you'll probably realise in about two seconds why. Yep. The hills are alive with the sound of... Off the line, nice and gentle. This is gonna be absolutely petrifying. As I said, 1,000 horsepower. That spit a flame, though. Holy crap, man! I'm not even hard down on the accelerator, guys. I am feathering this as lightly as possible. Oh my God, that's our main mission for this video, guys. Is just to not spit out and not die. Because this thing is as insane as a car can be. Seriously, I don't even think the Aerial Atom V8 is insane as this. It's a bit of a straightaway here. We can probably put the foot right down. Oh, <laughs> God! Oh. This fish tailing so weirdly, man. Oh my God, this is not nice at all. I don't like this. Get me off! It's like a freaking roller coaster. This feels so unnatural doing this, taking a freaking maxed out modified driftmobile to the quiet villages and highlands of Scotland. This feels so out of place, it belongs on a track in America. Or in Japan, because obviously the MX-5 is Japanese. Oh my god. These villagers are going to be pissed. They'll be like, what the freaking hell is that noise? I'm just trying to go down the shops and get a loaf of bread here. There's a fire spitting Mazda MX-5 that comes flying past. I'm going to bring my Scottish side out here, but don't make me phone the police on you. <laughs> this is in Scotland, I need to go to this place. Jesus, it looks beautiful. It looks very nice indeed, but this brings me on to quite a good subject. Um, once I get a car, guys, I'm probably going to be doing a road trip to the top of Scotland. I've kind of wanted to do this for a long time. I mean, it's been one of my ambitions, but... After watching Evo's Car of the Year 2015, they've done the test up at the top of Scotland. There's this road called Apple Cross Pass, I believe. It looks fantastic, it really does. Nice, tight and twisty road. And it's got a lake at the bottom of it. What more could you ask for? That is pure petrol head heaven. Now, we're going to attempt to go around this at a little bit faster speed, because it's pretty much granny pace. Oh shit! See what I mean? As soon as you put your foot right down, it is death for you. Bloody hell, man. I love to see the stigger someone drive this. Seriously. I mean, Mad Mike's great, right? Mad Mike is great. Obviously, this is his car and he's treated to perfection, but fucking Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Fucking hell. Do you know what this thing reminds me of? The Brutus. You know that old 1930s slash 40s car which Jeremy drove with the airplane engine in it? This is what it feels like. Essentially the same handling in this game at least and just the sheer like freaking pantomime about it. I love it. Oh shit! Ow! God, I was just a gr was about to greet the villagers. And it sent me into a wall. God damn it, I'm dead. Officially dead. I think that pretty much sums up Scotland right there. The Bonnie Bray with a Scottish flag. <laughs> Yeah, can I jump in there and get a pint, please? I don't really want to be driving this thing anymore because it's super, super scary. Just pass me a pint through the actual window. I'm not going to be driving this thing anymore. <laughs> Screw the pint! Power! <laughs> That's the petrol head way. Screw the pint. 
give me more power. Oh god. Look at this view. Jesus. You can't see anything because of the window decal. I'm actually driving this thing like a granny. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of you'll be saying, you're in a drift car and you're not drifting. <laughs> you give this a go and you try and drift it on this road. Seriously, if you want to be dead within two seconds, then go ahead, feel free. I love that we stream at the side of that there. God. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I love little features like that in games, just like we rivers and we nice little nature bits, if you know what I mean, because that off-roady course that I'd use in GTA 5 has got tons of little rivers and everything splattered about it. It's very nice. You actually see if there's any flames breaking out this now, please. Oh ho 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 ho! Hennessy Venom, eat your freaking heart out. All I've got to say now is, turn 10, Forza, please. Right, we'll try and survive one more lap with this crazy, crazy thing, guys. I mean, to sum up, this is a great car, right? If it was in another game, that's it. That's all I'm saying. If it was in another game, with better freaking handling physics than this, holy shit! Okay, then. I've just noticed that sign. Thank you for driving safely. My arse! I've got to come on here with one of the cars that have come in in recent packs, because I've not covered many of them. 2015 Mustangs in, the new Radicals in as well. I really want to test that thing out, so let me know in the comment section below, guys. Do you want to see some more Project Cars? I'll happily do it, especially on this track. Okay, then. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly at the end of this torture. Come on. A few more corners. I mean, comparing this to the Drive Club experience with the Aerial Atom and the Forza experience with the Hennessy Venom in the rain, this probably tops it, seriously, in terms of, like, uncontrollableness, if that even is a word. You just can't, you can't, you can't control it. With a controller, you can't control it, pardon the pun, but I don't know what it'd be like on a steering wheel. Yes, there's the pits. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm free. I am free. Yeah, I don't think Mike's going to be too happy when I give him the car back, because the state of it is pretty, pretty bad, but in terms of, like, an adrenaline rush and everything, this... Is like that Mecha the Cougar I just drove in the Forza review video earlier today, but times 11. Seriously, it is absolutely mad, and it really, really suits Mad Mike. Seriously, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I highly recommend you get on the Project Cars, downloading this DLC, and giving this thing a go. If you've got a wheel, that'll be a little bit easier for you, I imagine, but. God, I can only imagine what this thing would be like on that. As I said, if you have enjoyed the video, then a like would be much appreciated. Also, leave me a comment down below what else you want me to do in Project Cars and what other videos do you want me to do in general. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And peace.